welcome back to my channel per request on my flautus video we have in and out get into it um i'm not gonna be eating all of this my man is here not on camera but he's gonna be having food as well we're gonna chit chat eat i am so so excited i'm in a really good mood but i'm hungry so let's divvy this up You like your cute little tray? Die. Actually, maybe I want the cute tray. Okay, you you have the cute tray. You have the cute tray. I swear. Wait, is this my? Is this yours? Is mine? I got a double single. What's that? I don't even know what that is. Is there two meats in this or one? I feel like I got gypped. Oh jeez. Is this patty even existed? <laughs> I was thinking that when you ordered, I'm like. Now they know which one's double and which one's single. I feel like this one's yours. I saw it. it has to be. If I'm a double, yours must be smaller. Okay. It's not small, it's thin. Let's see if I can get... <laughs> it's not small, it's thin. Okay, thumbnail done. Alright. Get into this. Give you guys first bite. I really hope this is two patties. Yeah, it's good mine. Mmm. Ten out of ten. Slaps. Tegusta. Not just tegusta. What's Picanta. What's love? Picanta. Picanta, yeah. yeah. Honestly, internet would be a good like last meal, you know? So today, I'm in a good mood because we are about to go meet up with our wedding coordinator at Starbucks, go over details, and then we're going to do a walkthrough um, at the venue. So that's very, very exciting and get something situated, order our invitations. I'm just putting a bunch of sprouting ketchup right now on my fries. Um, How's your food? That's good. Oh. I think they gave me lemonade instead of lemonade. Disappointing. That is disappointing. In and Out has a, if you've never been, has like a pink lemonade that's like specific to their chain. But. That sucks that you didn't get what you wanted. How was, how was the fries well done? I don't know how you like it well done. I feel like it tastes like stale pota potato chips. You like perky? Mmm. So, I'm gonna tell them the story I just told you about the, last night I was on my way to my girlfriend's house, right? We were gonna go get boba. And when I left my house, she lives in the same city as me. I texted her, I'm on my way. As I pull up in her neighborhood, this guy comes running out, waving his hands at me. And so I slow down, right? Cause I don't wanna hit him. And he comes to the side of the car and I roll down, roll down my windows, like probably like this much you see here, like just about this much so I could hear him, but not enough that it's like dangerous really. And he was like, hey, my car needs a jump. Can you help me jump my car? And just my female intuition and instinct was like, ah! danger, danger, stranger danger, you know? Cause not just like if a man asks you for something, but like anyone, but especially a man at night, you know? So my radar was going off like, but 
I felt for him because if you need your car jumped, you need your car jumped. And I asked him, I said, well, where's your car? And like, as I'm talking to him, I'm doing like mental woman math of like assessing the danger of the situation. Like, is it worth it to help and risk? Or should I just keep pushing? But I was like, you know what? I already texted my friend, I'm on my way. He tells me his car is in his driveway and I'm in the neighborhood where my friend lives. I have my phone on me. If anything happens, they're gonna know. So I pull up in his driveway. And I'm like contemplating, like, do I get out of the car to help? Do I not get out of the car? Because you never know. And he was like, basically we're trying to figure out how to pop the hood of my car. I don't know anything about cars. So I was like, I don't know. So I had to like look around my car, figure out the button that pumps the hood of your car. Figure that out. Then he's like, where's the hook to open it? And I'm like, oh, your guess is as good as mine. So then I get out the car and I had my flashlight on and I had my keys in my hands. My keys in case he attacks me, I can go fata. And then my phone in case I have to call 911 and my car lights were on. So I was trying to make it as like safe for myself as possible without like being obvious, you know? But also being like, you know? But, oh, finally we open the car, right? And he's like, where's the thing to hold your hood up? And I'm like, I don't know. They should have taught us this in high school instead of the Pythagorean theorem or something. But anyways, we figure that out. This is good. I feel like they didn't give us much fries. Be on my side. Come on. Back up. <laughs> mm. So we get the hood up. He hooks up his car to my car. What do you call it when they do that? What do you mean? What are they hooking it up to? Your battery? Yeah, battery to each other. Okay, good. Good thing he did all the work because I didn't know, would not know anything. So I start, he tells me, okay, start your car. I start my car, it jumps his car. And he came out and he was like, thank you so much for helping me. And I'm like, no problem. And he's like, hold on. He goes in his garage which I'm parked in his driveway and his car is parked in his garage and the garage door's open. And he shuffles around and he brings back some photos. And he's like, I'm um, a photographer. I take insects photos specifically, especially grasshoppers. Here are some pictures of my work, kind of like postcards. I'll see if I can insert a clip here of them so I can show you guys. But this is my work. If you go to so-and-so museum, it's there. And the photos are really actually nice. I was quite impressed. And he's like, these are for you to take with you. Like, I was looking for more to give you, but I can't find them. And I'm like, are you sure? And he's like, yeah. And I was, he's like, what's your name? I'm like, my name's Miriam. He's like, my name's Mike. Thank you so much. So nice to meet you. You know, I take these photos, some of them like here in the city we live in, in this neighborhood. And it was like a really nice neighborly interaction. And I feel like sometimes I don't have enough of those. Like, this could have gone 
Silence of the Lambs or Happy Feel Good Neighbor Moment. So, I'm glad it worked out, but I swear, like, as a woman, you're always having to, like, literally be thinking on your feet, be, like, situationally aware. And like you can't just be too nice without forethought because you might pay the price for it. But I'm glad it worked out. But yeah. Ugh. So that was a nice interaction. I'm glad he knew how to do everything because I don't know anything about anything when it comes to cars. But yeah. But I know, ladies, you know what I mean when it's like you're doing like the mental math of like the risk to reward or risk to safety ratio whenever like anyone asks you anything and it's a stranger at night. Oh my god. The worst is getting gas late at night. That's the worst. Do you guys ever like, do guys worry about that? What? Getting gas at night, like like danger wise, safety wise. Do you ever think like, ooh? <clears throat> I would say not often if you do. Hmm. You getting full? I'm full. I'm gonna show up to meet with Haley all bellied up. Mm. But yeah. I don't know if I'll end up posting it, but if I do, then I'll have posted this video by the time I post this video. Sorry I'm sweating my Taco Bell video, but also, can you help me learn how to use the air conditioning in my car? One side works, give me cold air. <laughs> but not my side. <laughs> I feel so energized now. I don't know. Should we go to Marshall's? You want to go to Marshall's? Ugh. Excuse me. Oh yeah. I've had comments on some of my videos requesting I burp. I'm just not really, excuse me, haha, <laughs> that was not on purpose, uh, but I'm just not really like a burpy on camera e girl. Like usually I'll edit them out or I just, that's not me, not my vibe. I don't know, I think it's kind of like a burp fetish, not my style. Are you a burpee boy, Randy? Uh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> don't knock until you try. Don't knock until you try. <laughs> Randy said it. What the heck? Wow, no stain? I'm like, I'm too full, but I wanna finish it. Oh yeah, I also wanna say, 
YouTube is doing this weird thing where sometimes it'll like notify me of a comment and then I'll go to click on the comment so I can reply to it, but then it just disappears and I can't access the comment altogether. I can't go to the video to see it. And so if I didn't reply to your comment on my last video or any of my videos, it's, I want to, but YouTube is just being weird and deleting my comments. I don't know. So that kind of sucks. I don't fully understand YouTube, but I'm trying. That was good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The wedding dress video. I have to learn how to edit the photos and blur out the, or like, crop out the faces of my mom or my mother-in-law or the bridal attendant. Just because I don't want to put them out there on my videos without their consent and they don't know about my channel and I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? So I have to figure out how to do that. I'm not techie, but I'm learning, <coughs> but yeah. That video is still coming. I'm super excited for that one. Um, but yeah. Now I feel like I need to re-up the caffeine. Cause it just ate and I'm like, took me out. You ready? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and to the person who requested in and out, thank you for requesting that because I wanted to do it, but I didn't know if it would be like redundant because I already had an in and out video. But let me know what you guys are interested to see next time. I will see you in my next video and let me know down below if you do the same like woman mental math of the equation when a stranger, specifically a guy or anyone asks for help. Because you know, it just be like that sometimes. All right guys, see you next one. Bye.